Chicken karaage is a Japanese version of fried chicken and it's made with chicken thighs, boneless skinless chicken thighs that are cut into bite-sized pieces and fried until golden brown. You're gonna love these. And since they're finger size, they're perfect for enjoying with a beer, with your friends, watching the game. And I know of a game that's on this weekend that you may wanna check out, right? YouTube subscriber Kratz808 was very homesick for Hawaii. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our chicken karaage one step further. We're gonna make a Hawaiian style garlic chicken that you'd get at a place like Fat Boys. So what are we waiting for? Let's get to work. Now I'm gonna start with a pound of chicken thighs, boneless, skinless chicken thighs that are cut into bite-sized pieces. And I got them in a large mixing bowl here, and I'm gonna start by seasoning it with salt and pepper. Half a teaspoon of garlic powder, a dash of soy sauce, followed by two tablespoons of cornstarch. And then I'm just gonna mix everything together until well combined, and then set aside for about 15 to 20 minutes. Now fill a heavy saucepan or wok with a couple inches of canola oil and preheat to about 325 degrees. Working in small batches, deep fry your chicken until golden brown. Now if it turns brown too fast, your oil is too hot. While it's cooking, you'll want your oil to be looking like this while you cook it. After it's done, simply take out and drain on paper towel. Now if you want to make some delicious chicken karaage, this is our stop. Simply season with salt, serve with lemon wedges, and you're good to go. But if you want some delicious sticky fingered garlic sauce for your garlic chicken, follow me. To make the sauce, I'm going to start with a tablespoon of sesame oil, and in that I'm going to put in two tablespoons of minced garlic, which I'm just going to saute gently on medium heat until fragrant. Now in a large mixing bowl, I got that garlic that I just cooked. And to that I'm going to add a quarter cup of soy sauce, half a cup of mirin, half a tablespoon of sesame oil, with a half teaspoon of chili flakes, a half teaspoon of sesame seeds, and a tablespoon of honey. From there mix well and then add back to the pan and turn it to high heat. Now over high heat, keep stirring your sauce until you get it reduced to about the consistency of a nice syrup. Now in a large mixing bowl, simply pour your sauce over your chicken and toss until evenly coated and then you're ready to serve. And that's it! Now this garlic chicken is perfect with a side of rice or just eating with your fingers with all your friends while watching the game. Now take this recipe, make it yours and have fun in the kitchen which brings me to my question of the day. What's your favorite food to eat while you're watching a movie or checking out the game? Let me know in the comments down below and we'll see you next time.